this is an interesting thermometer question because you have two liquid in glass thermometers in well mixed liquid. Oh, so you have this thing, a liquid inside here, and what you have is a nice thermometer in this liquid. So let's draw a thermometer number one and thermometer number two. And these thermometers are kind of fat. Uh, in, by the way, in A2, you will learn more about thermometers. So don't worry about that if you're like, oh, I don't know what thermometers are, how they work. It's okay. We don't really need to know that for now. So in one of the thermometers, it reads 21 degrees Celsius. But the other one says 23. They don't agree. Uh, but 10 different students agree, though. So 10 different humans read it and they say, oh, this is 21. This is 23. Hmm. So what's the possible explanation for the difference? Why is this different? Could it be all the students have eye problem? No. All 10 of them look at the thermometer and they agree that it should be 21 degrees. Hmm. Okay, let's look at A. The liquid is not all the same temperature. This is incorrect. Why? Because they already told us it is a well-mixed liquid. Because the argument could be that, oh, maybe on this side, the liquid is hotter, that side the liquid is colder, but no, it's well-mixed so they all should be the same temperature. So that's not a possible explanation. The readings are not precise. What does precision mean? There's two meanings. It could mean there's not enough decimal places. It doesn't seem like a problem here. So this could be uh, instrument precision. I don't think it is. Or scatter of readings. Well, you could, you could argue that 21 and 23 is a bit scattered, I suppose. So maybe it's correct. I don't know. I'll put it on the... I'll put it on the bench, maybe. Put question marks. C. There's a random error affecting the readings. Now, this one doesn't seem random because you have 10 different people reading the same stuff. And how is that? Ra that's not random. They all agree that it's 21 degrees, so that's not a random error anymore. 10 people get the same reading, so it's not. D. There's a systematic error affecting the readings. I think this is probably true because if you have 10 readings of 21, 10 readings of 23 and they all say agree, it's probably a systematic error in one of the thermometers or both. So this is probably the best choice. Better than B because readings are not precise. You only have two readings. If there's more, maybe I can tell. But if you want to argue, I say 10 people took the readings, you know, and all 10 said that it was 21. So that is, now, that, that's pretty precise if you ask me. Reading by the thermometer is precise. So B is can be argued to be correct, but D is the best choice. If you're wondering what is the systematic error, ah, you will find out in A2 chapter where we talk about temperature and thermometers. Okay, so that's all for this question. I will see you in the next one.